It is the 9th of the 4th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. To old friends who contact me out of the blue, so nice to know you're paying attention. Let's get with the news, shall we? Anchorage breaks seasonal record snowfall. While winter is a distant memory for most Americans, it continues unabated in Anchorage, Alaska, where a new bout of participation, precipitation this week helped, by the city, helped the city break its record for seasonal snowfall at more than 133 inches this year. First glaciers in Japan recognize. Scientists have found three glaciers in Taoma Prefecture, the first recognized in Japan and the southernmost in East Asia. Death toll rises to 15 as Buenos Aires recovers from heavy storm. Um, death toll rises to 15 in Buenos Aires City and provinces as the region recovers from a heavy storm that hit the area Wednesday night, taking, taking residents by surprise after an unusual warm day for the season. Intense rain and hailstone caused death and destruction. Uh, throughout the county, and then they had a big wall cloud come through and shearing winds and roofs off the houses, and uh, we all know the story. More evidence rises of roll pesticides play in bee colony collapse. Go figure, they're saying even a little bit of this new pesticide that we spread everywhere uh, does affect the bees for sure. Fur loss, open sores seen in polar bears. Wildlife experts are studying whether fur loss and open sores detected in nine polar bears in recent weeks is widespread and related to similar incidents among seals and walruses. The bears were among 33 spotted near Barrow, Alaska during the routine survey work along the Ar Arctic coastline. Tests showed they had uh, loss of fur and other skin lesions. The U.S. Geological Survey said in a statement, the animals were otherwise healthy in appearance and behavior. And um, he put in this comment, ruling out Fukushima, the following is reference to radiation on skin, using radiation therapy in this instance. Peeling skin during radiation therapy can lead to the formation of sores and ulcers, as noted by the National Cancer Institute. This happens more commonly in areas where there are skin folds, such as under the breasts or buttocks, and may also occur where skin is thinner, such as the neck. If patient develops an ulcer or sore, he should let the physician or nurse know so antibiotics can be prescribed if necessary. Of course, Fukushima can be ruled out. Massive dolphin die-off in Peru may remain a mystery... The corruption, the corruption, the corruption. And uh, that's about all new they've got going on. Over to the RSOE. Um, got extreme weather in Argentina. Of course, the Buenos Aires story. Um, the volcano in Colombia is still gearing up. A big sandstorm in northern provinces of China. Um, they're saying due to the extreme dry weather that uh, they're expecting forest fire season very soon. Uh, I got a forest fire in Minnesota, south of Nimrod, in Wadena County. And flash flooding in Oklahoma with all those storms we've been having through the Midwest here. Extreme weather in Australia, the state of New South Wales, and Sydney. Uh, of course, they're, they're having their season continue. Australia doesn't cut a break either. Uh, big landslide in Brazil due to weather. Um, extreme weather in Malaysia. And the tornadoes in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas area. And, uh, of course, they're still dealing in Fiji with the big storm down there. That's about all new climate change I want to cover tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, we're going to start off on ENE News. Needle goes above scale on alpha radiation detector in Minamisoma, Japan. Got a story. Japan lawmakers warned about spent fuel pool number four during testimony of former ambassador. And they have uh, several videos out on that. Japan professor on Fukushima and media, children bleeding from nostrils, skin diseases, and cardiovascular diseases. Um, the radiation poisoning is taking effect. It's been over a year now, and um, this is just going to continue and continue till this. There's no ignoring it anymore. 
Uh, this is new. Goddard's Dermal. Did Fukushima unit number three fuel pool explode? Question mark. I watched the videos. Looked like a core explosion, uh, but they were doing tests. You're just gonna have to watch the videos. Nuclear expert. Radiation plume has now hit Hawaii. In a year, it will probably reach the U.S. West Coast, and they are worried about all this big, massive tsunami debris. You remember, it's twice the size of Texas. It's about ready to slap up against the West Coast of Canada and the United States uh, in earnest here this fall. Um, stuff's already showing up, the ghost ship and whatnot and buoys. Um, they are worried that this is highly radioactive. Fukushima will start burning radioactive waste, 100,000 becquerels per kilograms to be incinerated, 1 billion pounds of debris in exclusion zone, and uh, Manichi. Now basically they're saying they're going to open, they're going to build incinerators in the exclusion zones, in the radioactive hot zones, so they can uh, do burn in open incinerators. Um, this tsunami debris um, in higher doses is so as not to further, you know, radiate the other prefixtures kind of thing. Um, but all that smoke is going into the air and over the Pacific Ocean and off to the coasts and uh, right for us. U.S. Berkeley pl pl plutonium testing was two to three hundred times less sensitive than the United States government. University researchers say uh, still may consider performing more precise analysis for alpha particles. EPA detected uranium-238 in San Francisco. They're not testing for this stuff, and if they are, they're not telling us, that's for sure. Congress, radiation might be detected in U.S. waters. Could remain a valid concern for years. A couple hundred thousand. Potential for corridor, a highly contaminated water traveling away from Japan, and of course up over Alaska, down the coast of Canada, the United States, and uh, you know how the bell works. LA Daily News, here's a good one. Casino to be built on site of nuclear reactor meltdown just miles from Los Angeles. Was up to 240 times Three Mile Island. Cesium-137 still up to 1,000 times over limit in the area. And they're going to build a casino there for you. <laughs> U.S. government tsunami debris might be contaminated with radiation Fukushima Daiichi. Really? Orange County coastal fish probably affected by radioactivity. I would assume it's there, in the plants and animals off the California coast, says a researcher. It's there. And report from Japan, doctors can't express anxieties about radiation or say things that are against what medical leaders decide to make public. They're covering it up. They're covering it up. And, um, yeah. Fukushima city citizens urged to make reports of deformities or stillbirths. Quote, I don't believe the Japanese government want, wants that information out there. You know they don't. Over to Daily News, uh, Fukushima Diaries. Former Japanese Prime Minister, I'm regretting to have admitted nuclear power plants. Here's the guy that brought it in, stirred it up, and now he's going to save you. Good luck with that. Um... Reno Reconstruction Minister suggests to set uninhibited area around Fukushima plants. And again, they want to establish a no-go zone so they can put up the incinerators and uh, keep from prying eyes what exactly is going on over there. I've got a report off of e, &E News. Um, secret Japan nuclear bomb program covered up by nuclear power industry. Enough to build arsenal larger than China. India, and Pakistan combined. The United States deliberately allowed Japan access to the United States' most secret nuclear weapons facility while it transferred tens of billions of dollars worth of American tax-paid research that has, allowed the Japan, that has allowed Japan to amass 70 tons of weapon-grade plutonium since the 1980s. 
A National Security News Service investigation reveals the United States has known about a secret nuclear weapons program in Japan since the 1960s, according to CIA reports. Now, if we go to uh, Japan Atomic Industrial Forum, I will provide a link, of course. They put this out just now. Uh, nuclear cooperation agreement between Russia and Japan to take effect May 3rd on this breaking story. On April 3rd, Japanese Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, received a courtesy visit from General Director of the Nuclear Energy State Corporation of Russia. The two officials exchanged official documents and effect that all necessary procedures for the Japan-Russia Nuclear Cooperation Agreement has been completed. As a result, the agreement will go into effect 30 days, namely on May 3rd. The agreement will enable the two nations to, sh to ensure non-proliferation and as well as ensure the peaceful use of nuclear materials and nuclear related equipment and technology to be transferred between them. Uh, so the Russians definitely know the Japanese have a secret nuclear bomb building um, <clears throat> program as well. I'm going to leave you tonight on a happy note. Fukushima Highway opens for spring season. A scenic highway in western Fukushima Prefecture opened for spring season on Sunday. The 28.7 kilometer um, skyline runs through mountainous areas on the border of Fukushima and Yamagata Prefectures. The road is lined with snow walls on each side. Last year's ceremony was delayed by 20 days because of lack of fuel for snow plows following the March 11th disaster. About 80 people attended the ceremony to mark the annual opening. The firm that operates the highway is urging drivers to use chains and snow tires as some of the sections are still covered with snow. Uh, the toll is normally 1,570 yen or about $20, but the fee has been waived since last year to help revive tourism in the area. Tourists can enjoy driving through Snowwall Corridor until early May, Monday, April 9th, 2012. Load up the kids. Let's go for a drive. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.